Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about everybody's favourite stumble bum, Uncle Joe himself, on the report tonight and all these many guests after two months in office. Stick around for the report. Now, stumble bum Uncle Joe. Let's have a chat about him, mate. He's first, we've had two months of Uncle Joe in office, and we have seen um, what I would call a deliberate disaster um, that is uh, Joe Biden. Um, I've never seen a president um, who's had so many gaffes and so many stumbles. Um, I mean, one of the most famous ones, I guess, of the last two months is when he basically uh, almost collapsed down a flight of stairs. I mean, he tripped once, I mean, and then, uh, and then he kind of tried to correct himself. He tripped again, and then he really tripped the third time. So he tripped three times going up a flight of stairs. Now, I mean, this is, remember when um, Donald Trump, I think Donald Trump very carefully went down a steep incline. I mean, that I think I, even I would have walked down that flight of stairs that Donald Trump walked down cautiously. Donald Trump walked down cautiously because he knows if the leader of the free world falls on his ass, it doesn't look good, right? So, you know, okay. And then, of course, Donald Trump received all this, you know, heat in the media about that. And then, of course, then when Biden does it, and then all they do is make excuses, I say, it was a windy day, you know? Well, blow me over with a feather, you know what I mean? Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. And it's not only uh, the kind of physical actions of Joe Biden, it's like the speech gas. I mean, he held this press conference recently where he was talking about a filibuster, and basically he got into the middle of the kind of, like, what he was trying to say about a filibuster, and then he just kind of lost his train of thought. I mean, I guess, like, maybe like sometimes I do in the uh, report from Tiger Mountain, but he lost his train of thought and then just went, oh well, you know, whatever, you know. And I mean, I think this was his first press conference. I mean, he hasn't had a press conference in two months. And there'd be many gaffes, there'd be many times where he's, you know, tried to say something, he's lost his train of thought. It's just, you know, basically um, you know, lost it, you know, doesn't know where to go from there. Now, I think one of the important things I want to say is, is I think this is deliberate. And I, don't, I mean, I don't mean that Joe is going out there and deliberately um, stumbling and, and, and fumbling and mumbling. It's just that he is like that, and that's who the cabal at this stage has decided to install. I mean, on, on one sense, is Obama was considered the worst president in history. Well, clearly, Obama is no longer the worst president in history. Biden clearly is. Um, but I think it's deliberate, because what the cabal wants to project at the moment is that the leader of the free world is a complete and utter disaster. And that's what you have with Joe Biden. I mean, I don't know how long they're going to keep him around. They might even keep him around for a while if they can, um, because I think it's tremendous optics for the cabal and also for China, who obviously, this is the people who, who want to take over the world, and to have the leader of the free world stumble and lose his train of thought, but, you know, to have the leader of the free world be, essentially be so hopeless is a real win for the cabal. So, I mean, from the people who are running the show, from the puppet masters, having a president that is so hopeless is actually a win for them. So we need to understand that's what they're doing. I don't know how long they'll keep him around. They probably will replace uh, him with, with, with uh, Camilla Harris within, I don't know, probably within a year, I'd say. But we'll see how long it all lasts. So that's all I wanted to say. I do think that Stumblebum Uncle Joe is here, maybe for a little while, as long as he can continue to read the teleprompter and uh, walk around. Maybe when it gets too bad, they're going to replace him with Harris. But that's all I wanted to say today. Report from Tucker Mountain. Thank you for listening.